Weather Authority Local Forecast. Abundant clear skies yet again here in the desert southwest after the murky rainy week we've had at least to some degree last week as we closed out 2021. So how are we going to progress into 2022? We'll get into that here in just a little bit, but your RV World Yuma Sky Cam giving you a glimpse of the Yuma area and as far as your satellite radar is concerned, we're pretty much in the clear. This is the work of high pressure pretty much keeping us in this particular kind of zone. So we're going to continue to keep that going. Just a little hint for you of what's coming our way or what's going to continue to come our way, I should say. Well, temperatures at this particular time, pretty much for the most part, ranging in the high end 40s, some cases even in the high end 50s. So we're on tap. I mean, I guess you can say we're on pace to get to near average conditions this evening. In some cases, a little bit cooler. You can see that we're also in the high end 50s, if not middle 50s in much of the Gila Valley at this particular time. Now for Thursday, here's the expectation for the Pacific Northwest. They have continued to get saturated with rain on the coastal areas, snow in the higher elevations, and uh, yes, uh, better chances of icing as we get on into your Thursday. But for the desert southwest, this is one of the reasons why our winter visitor friends like coming our way because we get the high pressure, we got the milder conditions, so this is making for very nice winter weather, and we're going to continue to get that. And yes, we are going to be a little bit warmer than normal as we get on again through the next several days because of that ridge of high pressure to the west. Now for tonight's expectations, we're going to be either in the low in 40s, high in 30s in the wee hours of the morning. So a little bit on the nippy side, not by much, but we should get pretty close to average in some respects. And we're going to keep that going as well in the Gila Valley, a little bit uh, chillier in other respects as well. And for your metro cast, we're talking 46 degrees by 8 a.m. We'll be in the low end 70s by the mid afternoon before we start to slide those temperatures as we get on into the evening time. Your air quality index presented by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. For the most part, we're looking very healthy in that particular vicinity. And for your Yuma International Airport extended forecast, we aren't going to get much movement in the temperature realm. But remember, we are a little bit above normal and that should hold through through much of the month of January. I mean, we're talking at least to the midpoint of the month. You're not seeing much of a temperature change in any respect and in the Imperial Valley. I mean, we are going to be in the mid 70s before we drop it just a little bit. And believe it or not, we might even have a slight chance of a few water works or a few spritzes here and there early next week. But the chances aren't looking too promising, at least right now.